The good news is that the fundamentals of our economy are strong, uh, and that is exactly what the ratings agencies have told us over the course of the last few weeks as they've had a good look at the New Zealand economy. As ASB's economists said in their preview yesterday, context is key. New Zealand's fiscal position remains world class. Those are their words and not mine. The verdict from the major international ratings agencies also gives us that ind independent outside perspective as well. Whatever challenges are ahead, there is confidence in our approach and in the strong fundamentals of the New Zealand economy. Lower debt than nearly every other country we compare ourselves to, a pathway back to surplus similar to that during the GFC, and an economy that has got through a technical recession, turned the corner and does not have a recession in the future forecasts. Inflation is falling and wages are growing. We have an economy that has had a strong tick of approval from outside agencies, and if we continue our progress and take a balanced pathway forward, we will continue with that. So in summary, um, the picture is one which I think New Zealanders can be comfortable with in difficult and challenging times. The economy will grow 2.6% on average over the forecast period, according to the Treasury. They are not forecasting an ongoing recession. Inflation will return within the 1% to 3% band by the end of next year. Wages are set to grow 4.8% a year over the forecast period. Unemployment remains below the long-term average and more Kiwis are in work. And we have met our fiscal rules, which mean that net debt stays under that 30% mark at 22.8% peak and coming down to 21%. And we do return to surplus inside the forecast period. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.